Well, Alzheimer's at this point is treated with only four FDA drugs that are approved. And they help a little bit for a little while, but unfortunately they're a little bit like speeding, spitting in the wind. And they're symptomatic treatments, which means they help with the symptoms, but they don't really change what's going on in the brain with these amyloid plaques forming, this neuronal garbage, and you know, that builds up and starts to destroy the brain and the memory circuits. And these drugs are really, there's only uh, four of them. There's uh, Aricept, Exelon, Razodyne, and Namenda. The first three are cousins. And what they do is try to keep the level of a neurotransmitter that greases the memory circuits called acetylcholine up because the, those levels tend to go down. And once they're down to about 30% normal, that's when we start to see symptoms. And the last one is called Nomendo, which is an N-methyl deaspartate receptor antagonist, which if you say it real quickly, you don't get anything. But in English, what it means is it's a receptor, it's all lock that an excitatory neurotransmitter glutamine fits into, and that excitatory neurotransmitter in degenerative diseases tends to make the whole situation with cell death worse. So you're trying to temper that and slow things down. But that's all we have. So these things, are, these medications are effective for the first 12, 18 months, and then they're better than nothing, but they're, they're not all that helpful. Unfortunately, that's where we're at. We don't have a cure, but we have light at the end of the tunnel. We have a number of promising investigative trials. So hopefully you'll contact us and we can tell you about that.